Hi, to create a case with Informatica eSupport, log on to Informatica Network. Under Support tab, click My Cases. This will navigate you to the case creation page, which will provide you with a complete overview of your previous case history. Note that you must be a project rewrite contact associated with an support account. We have made important changes to the case creation process. You can choose the support account if you are part of multiple projects. Use the create new case option to get started creating a case. Clicking on this, you will be presented with three options, technical, product download and license request, and support account administration. To create a technical case, click proceed with technical case. The default support account that you had chosen from the main page will be displayed here automatically. Choose the relevant product from the drop down here. Note, selecting an unentitled product does not impact the support process from Informatica in any way. Informatica admin team will contact you for further assistance on the unentitled product. Select the product that you are entitled to to raise a case for. After selecting the product, you will be able to see the delivery method for the chosen product. Now select the version and priority. If you choose the priority as P1, you are expected to call out the business impact. This is the new feature that we have introduced to help you address the case at the earliest based on your justification. This may impact an upcoming milestone. It is up to you to choose an appropriate reason and kindly let us know the impact date. This will help us to understand the severity and importance of the case. After you start typing your case description, our AI Pack search engine will start recommending related solutions to you in the right panel. We recommend that you review these solutions before raising the case. These recommendations are context-based. It is observed that our users find this feature extremely helpful which helps us provide you with the highest possible unassisted self-service. One of the many fantastic features that we have introduced is the case description quality indicator. Once you start entering the case description, with this feature, you can better articulate the case description so that our support team gets all the information that they want with lesser iterations and communication with you and get on to assisting you with the resolution of the case. Currently, this feature is enabled for cloud data integration, cloud application integration, master data management and enterprise data catalog. Click proceed to move to the next step. In this state, you have an option to attach or upload files up to 2 GB. Here is the log recommender. It recommends the right logs required. You can add the screenshots, logs, error messages or even record and attach a video to the case. Now, you can add alternate contacts to your cases. This way, we can ensure we have two primary contacts for a case. Click next. This is the last step in the case creation stage. This window will list out the entire summary of the case and the contacts. As you proceed to revisit the case summary, ensure to verify all the details and click on confirm case creation. The case is now created and submitted. To make any changes to an existing case, please click update case option and make necessary changes. An automatic email confirming the case creation is sent to your inbox. If you want to make any changes, click on view case and take appropriate actions. Our support team will review the case and contact you at the earliest. You will be able to track the status of the case based on the action taken by our support team here.